Hey everybody, what's up? Jester here. Welcome to episode 3 of our Project Ozone 3 Kappa Mode playthrough. So, last time, last time we got some, some stuff taken care of. You see the sieving is back there. Uh, mob farm is over there, and, but you notice, like I said at the end, it was going to push it back a handful of blocks. And that seemed to do the trick. We have a whole ton of nerds over there kind of waiting. Uh, push the, the, the sieves back just a little bit to see, uh, kind of get a little bit more space before we figure out exactly what's going to go on with the rest of the build. Also went ahead, did a, a, a little bit of stuff. So we got some resources, just, just some, uh, if you can see some, some gravel. Went restocked over here. We have a full thing of compressed cobblestone and so on and so forth. Uh, and then the hammer, the hammer is doing amazingly. Best, best decision ever. And, and that's, I mean, I haven't repaired it or anything. Durability is still kicking. Let's uh, see if we can't get out of this real quick. Beware the supercharged creepers. We still need to work on smeltery stuff. We still need to work on automation stuff. We got the first two things of last week's checklist taken care of. Let's go ahead and hop into the quest book real quick. See if there's some stuff that we can claim. Flint stiffened meshed. Achievement get. And then, of course, the stuff for that. To get started with the smeltery, that's going to require some other stuff. The porcelain, which is bone meal and clay. Don't have clay quite yet. Uh, go ahead and take care of the drawer real quick. Clay is something we have to work on in obsidian. Do we have... We do. Clay buckets. Now, to make a clay bucket, you need three pieces of clay. To make the clay, we're going to need the barrels. These fun things. Oh, yes. And we're also going to need, I think there's actually a quest for it. So before I try and skip around too badly, this right here, water to clay. Wooden crucible doesn't need a heat source to convert leaves, saplings into water. Right click dust into water filled barrel to obtain clay. If you don't have a bucket, you can use the bottles to move water into barrels. Do not try to put dust into a wooden crucible. It won't work. So use the wooden crucible to collect the water, the barrel to turn the clay or turn the dust into the clay. But we have to get dust. That's fortunately quite easy. We'll just we'll head over, steal some of the gravel. Sure, six is fine. There's some sand, there's some dust. Okay, we need the crucible. And we need the barrel. For those wondering what I just did by adding them to the top left so I know which two I'm working on, if you look up the recipe, hover over it and hit your A key, it will put it up here. I often don't use this or I forget that it's here, but I'm gonna try and, and utilize this a little bit better, especially as we're getting started with some of the, the new stuff that some of you might not be familiar with. Wood, slabs, and sticks, planks, and slabs. Okay, fantastic. Okay, so we got us, we got us the stuff that we're gonna need. Go ahead and get a barrel. Go ahead and grab a crucible. Where, where do we, we'll, we'll go ahead and put it over here for the time being. There you are. Now, why did I go looking for this? You're given two two bottles, right? If you recall back, we're gonna go, I think it was this one. Yes, when you completed this one, you were given two glass water bottles. You can use these to fill this up directly, bypassing having to use that but in the event can go ahead and take saplings in there and as you see the saplings do condense down into a little bit of water and then you would go ahead and use the the water bottles go ahead and show you Sure. 
just like so. Same, same process, same concept. That should be achieving get. There we are, just like that. Water to clay, and we now have some clay. We can go and make our clay bucket. One, two, three. Apply a little bit of heat, and we have ourselves a bucket. Now, again, the beauty behind something like this is everybody has their own way of doing things. Now, courtesy of using that water source, we have one here, filled with our bucket. And then we're actually going to go and take that one again. And we all have our water source, and we can go put it back. I like having that there because ultimately we will end up utilizing that as a water elevator to get, get down a little bit lower once we decide what we're going to build and how we're going to build it so that we can get down to the level we need to. Now there was something I used to do and I believe it was finally fixed. I, I may or may not be responsible for this fix. So we have some tungsten here a steel wire and a small tank from Magnetograft. I was able to utilize this tank to automate clay at a very, very early stage. Clay and obsidian. So we can still technically go this route. It's just very, very challenging. Uh, we would have to go and get the crushing table, which is zinc, planks, whole bunch of iron and slabs, right? And then to get steel itself, we can utilize, I want to say, yeah, alloying. But that is once we get into a smeltery. In the meantime, we will need to get a fair bit of clay. Let's make some porcelain, shall we? So, go back to the quest book. This is going to be good stuff. Bonsai pots are a lot of fun. Simply tinkers. We're going to need the melter, a tank, a faucet, the basin, and the table. All right. Clear you out once again by hitting the A key. The melter, tank, faucet, table, basin. Which now means we need a second tank. This might be the best option, the gauge. Yes, because that uses the least amount of porcelain. Let me go ahead and get some of the resources together. And we'll get started. With bone meal dust or bone meal glass and clay in hand. Shall we be in? 35 porcelain in. We're going to use tiny coal. Makes it a little bit easier. And there we go. Finish that up. We've got 35. First thing is first. Go ahead and get us our porcelain gauge to make us our melter. Second, we're going to need our we're going to need our tank. Faucet, get that cooked up. Casting table, casting basin. And yes, we have an extra three left over. Mistakes were in fact made, but we have our faucet. Go ahead and complete one, two. Next up is the crucible, because we are going to need lava, which is more porcelain. Simply tinkers. We already know how to make that though, don't we? Seven unfired porcelain, a little bit of coal later. We now also have the crucible. Torch in hand, now we can begin the process for a little bit of lava. You take the crucible, you put it over any heat source. For the time being, we are going to use this torch. Take four cobblestone, one, two, three, four, and it will begin cooking slowly. Now there are other sources of heat. 
And here it is. These are the other sources of heat that can be utilized. Blazing mesh, plutonium, awakened draconium, heat sand. In the original version of Project Ozone, if you jumped off the side, Unforgiving Void landed you in the nether, which for these circumstances was absolutely amazing, especially if you could rush through and get heat sand real fast. Ludicrite Yellorium, this we might want to take note of. Lava, a torch is the lowest. Uh, flint and steel. Um, quartz blades. Infinity block. Though I don't know that this would ever really truly be a thing. Quartz blades. That's a new one. Okay, now we're, we said to take note of the Yellorium sand. Wait a minute. Almost seems a little too easy. Yes, because a block of Yellorium has to be made in a factorizer. Which is complicated. That one's a little on the complicated side. We don't have any just yet. We haven't done any sand. With lava slowly doing its thing, we're gonna go ahead and get this portion set up. Tank, melter. Now, there is another item. The porcelain heater. How the porcelain heater works is you can take, as you can see, six porcelain bricks atop a furnace. And you know, we'll go ahead and do that. Furnace, porcelain, heater. Okay, so start with some gold. Two specifically, and then we'll grab some iron. Two gold go in. They not enough heat. The heater will take solid fuels, coal, charcoal, stuff like that, and will actually heat up the melter fast or enough to where it'll melt this stuff down. Now I'm utilizing gold to make the two ingots that we're going to need because this will not, to my recollection, or double. These two ingots will be enough to make what we're going to need for uh, a cast. And the cast we're going to make is a bucket cast. So we're going to need probably three iron. Okay, I was correct. It doesn't. Okay, it does not. Second one complete. Now, notice I put the iron ore in. Not enough heat. Well, is that correct? What happens when we empty it? It might not be. It might have to. Yep, not enough heat. Okay. So we're not making that just yet. Let's see here. I'm going to utilize the first bit of lava. Put you there. So we can put you there. We're going to take our first bit of lava. I'm going to put you down under there. Now, it could have gone in there. Opted not to. This will get this moving a little bit faster. And this should be the difference made to where we can utilize our porcelain tank. As you saw using the clay bucket and lava, it does not react well. Go make a couple more buckets. Now we can get our lava. Get four more started. Go ahead and throw you in there. And as you see, that is enough to heat up the iron. Now, obviously, there's a lot of waiting, waiting for lava to cook up. You can do things like gather more pebbles, right? Or if you've got some, some sifting things to do, you can handle that. 
You don't have to just sit and wait idly for each one. There are a multitude of different things that can be done. Let's see mob farming. Um, what are we short? We got to kill the ancient golem. Yes, that is what we are still waiting on. We'll have to punch out the back of that, make it a little bit bigger. What that will also do is make way for spiders. So we're going to want some way to handle spiders. Three ingots of iron. And look at that. We have ourselves an iron bucket. And bucket number two is in our possession. We're going to need them. One for you, one for you. And now you were able to catch a glimpse. The next thing over here is a cobblestone generator. Six pieces of cobblestone, some glass, a bucket of water, and a bucket of lava will get you squared away. You can use the clay buckets to my knowledge. Maybe not on the lava side. Nope, even on the lava side. So yes, you can use the clay buckets. You don't have to go to the iron bucket like I did. That will work. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just like that, we now have a cobblestone generator. Cobblestone generator in hand, you can do uh, one of two things. I'm actually working on my second. It's going to be my second cobblestone generator. along with some iron stuff. I'm gonna grab the chest, six planks, and make us a basic drawer. As you can tell, I have been putting down slabs to make them look, um, there's something about seeing them floating in space. Cobblestone generator, drawer on top, and it dumps in. Now you can see it is very slow. Put that up there to make sure bad guys don't spawn. To make the second tier, it requires a fair bit of iron. Now going through and making all of that, it can be done in this particular object, but I don't want to. So instead of trying to cook up all of the necessary things that we're going to need for uh, eight blocks of iron, we're going to be switching that over to the smelter, which is the next step we're working on. Grout, standard recipe. And we can take it and we can actually cook it up here in this structure. Take you, we're going to need another one of you, aren't we? So in the very early going, to make a block of iron, factorizer, or it has to be poured. Like we were looking with the yellorium, you cannot just craft it. It has to be poured. The iron block cannot be turned into ingots. The ingots cannot be turned into the block. Not without Go ahead and make us a brick. Brick we should be able to use to as a cast. And we can, fantastic. Oh, look at this. That's the ancient golem. I thought we needed too deep. We don't. We're going to need that. So, good news. Porcelain melter. Water source, lava, fantastic. Well, Joe's working on a second cobblestone gen. Cobblestone gen sitting on a hopper, pumps it directly in, and this will get us up to the necessary 4,000 millibuckets or four buckets until we can get a tank. I think we have a small tank. This guy. Copper plate, which can be done. Do we have? Yes. A Clay plate we can make. So a copper plate and some glass will give us the small tank from Magneticraft, which can be used to store additional lava. 
until we can make and, and kind of cheese the fluid tank, which again will require tungsten, which we can get once we get to the nether. Yes, uh, I would like to formally apologize for ruining everybody's chances on using that tank very early on. So, between now and episode four, I will go ahead and get all of the seared stuff that we're going to need to get the smeltery started, and we can press on from there. Here soon, we will have to go to the nether. Not sure exactly when that will be, because we will have to manually make the obsidian, but that's not going to be that difficult. Also going to get some materials taken care of, some, some stuff sieved and, uh, sift, sieved and sifted. Get some stuff sifted and see what we can't uh, get our hands on. Maybe get ready to upgrade the mesh to iron. That's going to that's going to take a bit of time uh, and some off-camera work. Again, if you're if you're liking uh, how things are progressing, do me a huge favor. Let me know down in the comment section. Also, the idea of trying to build a large tower on an island is kind of taking shape in my head. If you have other suggestions on something you would like to see done. Uh, don't forget there are a lot of other dimensions that we're going to be utilizing. So we will be building stuff in there as well. I don't know if I'm going to redo my capacitor factory like I did or find a new way to do it, but we'll see. Anyhow, again, let me know what you think. Otherwise, take care and I'll see you next time.